Hey everybody, this is uh, Pinjamin15 and we're going to review a pin. We're going to review the Caveco Classic Sport in the ballpoint, okay? Um, I really just bought this pin um, because it just looked interesting online. I got it from jetpins.com and started writing with it and I thought it was a very interesting experience and then went on a deep dive there are so many different uh, styles of ink pens that you can get in the body. Uh, fountain, rollerball, mechanical pencils, you name it. But uh, we're going to stick to just the, uh, the ballpoint in the sport body. All right. So it is the body that is unique about this one. So this is a standard Sharpie. Okay. So if we just compare the size of the standard Sharpie, it's much more short. Uh, it comes in at about a little bit over four inches, like maybe four and an eighth, a little bit. Uh, but it has a very thick size. So if I can, let me see, a more traditional, the, uh, the inner gel, if you can see the thickness there, and then the thickness of this one much more much more uh, chunky and then the body has a very interesting shape hexagonal shape so there's really no poor way to grab it you know you, you'll have a solid a solid grip however you grab it all right got a nice satisfying click and uh, it's a great, you know, everyday carry kind of pen because the plastic is very strong. It's light and it's durable ballpoint, so it'll write on just about any surface and uh, dry very quickly. But what I found um, during my week of testing is that it's more of a fidget toy with me than it is almost a pen because I would just... When I'm waiting to move on to my next task and I'm just killing time, I would pull the pin out and just drive everyone in the immediate vicinity just bonkers, which, you know, I think might be my calling in life. Okay, so let's look at the ink, you know. The body is great, but if it doesn't write well, what's the point? Okay, all right. Okay, so it is a very high quality ballpoint pen. Normally on those ballpoint pens, when you begin to write, you'll have that, that just that hollow line where it just hasn't been writing in a while and you need to kind of just bring over a piece of paper and just kind of scratch on it to get it going. You hardly need that with the Caveco. You know, every time that you start, it's a full, solid line. And I'm just very happy with it. You know, that kind of stuttering start with the ballpoint is why I just kind of took a deep dive on gels and rollerballs because they just, um, they flood, they flood the area so quickly. All right, so let's do a little bit more testing. All right. high-quality smudge test. You notice I grabbed the highlighter before I did that. Okay, just a little bit of smudge, but not that much, not that much. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm doing the test very quickly after that. Okay, highlighter. High-quality highlighter. Yeah, baby. Pretty good. Pretty good on the highlighter test as well. So smudge test, highlighter test. I also took the opportunity with uh, a gentleman that I work with who is a lefty to give it to him to see what he thought about it. He very much enjoyed the size of it. Uh, he's not uh, as crazy about pins as I am, however, uh, but he did enjoy the novelty of the size and the shape. And some of the critique of a ballpoint pen with a lefty is that 
instead of dragging the ball over the surface, uh, like most righties will use a ballpoint pen, they're kind of pushing the point in and depressing the ball instead of dragging it across the page to stain the page with the ink. I, I told that to him, or I, I asked him if he found that to be um, a common problem when he writes. He had no idea what I was talking about. So I think ballpoint's the way to go for our lefty friends. Uh, I'm area lefty. They're, they're, they're just like you and me. All right. Okay, so let's wrap this up. All right. Pocket size. Perfect EDC kind of pen. Uh, you know, uh, it's not tactical, but I guess you can put like a scope on it, I guess. Make it tactical. All right. The price that I got it for was $22, and I got it from jetpens.com, a fantastic site. The clips are sold separately, and just like there are so many different types of sport from Caveco, there's a bunch of different clips to customize uh, what you've got. I mean, you can really take a deep dive and all your pins just be this, and you'd be having a lot of pins, all right? The, the refill writes very well. It is a high quality uh, ink pen. Yeah, you, you'll just, you'll really enjoy it, okay? And last but not least, um, these are all the social handles, Benjamin15 on Instagram. I try to be very active on that. YouTube, I, I try to post once a day. Twitter, not so much. Those are really just, I'm just pushing the YouTube links to that. And TikTok, I, it's, I, I find weird uh, facts about uh, pens and I put them on TikTok. Why not, right? Okay. Thank you very much. Um, took a huge milestone in my recovery from my surgery. I've been discharged from one doctor and got one left to go. So I'm very happy with that. You guys have a great weekend. Take care.